Welcome back, everybody. This is the Brutal Age Partner Guide, Part 10. Part 10 already. Special edition, because they're all special. This is on the Lonely Warrior, Saya. How to beat Saya. We're going to focus on the level 2. We'll, we'll go over the level 1 a little bit at the end of the video. We're going to use a system that we call KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Something that we used to use playing pool. That was ta taught to me a long time ago. Uh, basically, all that it means is uh, don't overthink things. Don't bring more into uh, the attack than it has to. And what we'll do is we'll analyze her strengths, and then we will figure out her weaknesses based on what her strengths are. Now, her strengths is she's a healer. She does eight to ten thousand damage when she's attacking any uh, uh, green or red, and she does like up to twenty thousand damage when she's attacking a blue. And she also can attack a whole group, at, the whole group at one time. So for our team formation, you know, everyone is going to be adding partners. It's not just you, but as the leader, you know, you can add up to three partners. So for, just keep that in mind. You can add up to three. You want to have an attack percentage for your first person. So the first person in line, you want to have attack percentage for the whole team. Then you want to have six star heroes. You, you, you have to have six star heroes to beat the level, the, the level two. And try to avoid using the blue heroes. If you have a six star that's just super strong, like the blue nomad, uh, you can use the blue. But try to avoid using most blue heroes. And you want to use a big red heroes, and I want to go over that in a, in a couple more seconds. You want to use a couple of big red attackers, and then a lot of support. The way the formation goes is you're going to use uh, someone that has a team leader ability, like uh, let's say the green demon killer. He's got the 25% attack bonus. You'll use him as the leader. And then you want to use one big red attacker. Uh, in this attack here, we're using the red blonde as the as a big red attacker. Uh, the next one, I believe, we're using the red nomad. The red nomad. You want to use a big red attacker, and then you want to have three support troops. The support troops are heroes. The support heroes are healers, more or less. So, uh, in in this case, in this attack here, we're using the red colonel, and we're using two guitar, two red guitarists. Green colonel. Did I say green or red? You know, let's suck at this. <laughs> so you want to use three healers, and then you want to have your two big attackers. And I'll say it again: you you definitely have to use someone with leader skills. Now, when you're summoning the the Saya, if you don't have anyone with leader skills, you you can have a six star. But if it has no leader skills, then then just um, post it up in your clan chat, and then have someone else actually summon it that has leader skills it's that important you definitely have to have someone that has leader skills 25 percent attack for for the demon killers is huge uh remember that the the double blade girls they give 40 percent attack bonus but but if you're using a red double blade girl she only gives that 40 percent to other red heroes if you're using the green double blade girls only to other green heroes so whereas the demon killers they they give that 25 percent bonus across the board so as you're building your team Another big thing now. This is something that I don't see enough of uh, our clan is starting to get better at it But if your clan isn't doing this you really have to and, and remember it's not just your clan It's also other people in your in your horde um, You have to communicate inside the inside the screen that you're actually selecting all your of your troops talk talk it out and Make sure that you have the right formation. Don't let everyone put in whatever they want I know they're gonna try to empty out all of their heroes but let them do that on the level ones. On the level twos, you want to have two, especially with, with Saya, you want to have two big red attackers and then the rest support. If you use that formation, then you can knock her out in one shot and then you'll be able to fight more of them. And that's just more rewards for everyone. You don't want to end up having to fight her four or five or six times when you can knock her out one time. I understand if you don't have the heroes to do it and you don't have six stars you're gonna have to attack more but if you're in the position where you have the heroes then if you do it right then you can do it all in one shot now I wanted to show you this she just did 21,472 damage in one shot versus the, versus a blue uh, partner so this is this is why you don't want to use the the blue heroes against her not only do they not do as much damage but they get damaged a lot um, and now here's the key to this formation. They just did three heals in four seconds So even though Sai is beating down the whole team and, and she does uh, Team damage she does uh, a lot of damage on every one of her strikes With three heals back to back to back you can actually keep all of your guys up 
and you're able to keep them alive long enough to where you can get these big huge attacks with with your big reds now I, I went through the top um, the top attackers based on the server that, that I was in and in the top hundred we had ten of the the red nomads and five in the top ten and this may be different in in, in your server but there but I've, I'm in several servers and you'll, you'll be surprised how similar they all are um, the the red double blade girl we had 13 in the top hundred two of them in the top ten another great starting hero uh, lead, uh, with leader skills now you'll notice uh, red blonde is 18 so there's much more of her in the top hundred three in the top ten so why wasn't she number one well there's just a lot more people using her because a lot more people have red blonde than let's say the red nomad and you'll you'll notice even more everyone has the the, the red de demon killer so there's 27 of him but only one in the top 10 and as we go down this list there there may be a bunch in the top 100 but we're getting lower and lower in the top 10 now it just so happens on this server the number one player on the server has the number one spot in on all three lonely warriors um, her, her green double blade girl is just insane power uh, an another good attacker is the is the red god of earth the red elephant none in the top 10 but another powerful attacker and then he's the only uh, now green demon killer he's gonna be in both the attacker um, side and in the support side and I'll, I'll explain why in a second now he, there's 10 of him in the top 100 but he, you don't see you don't start seeing him till around number 50 he was all over the top 10 when we first started but now as it's starting to uh, go we're getting more attacks and he's starting to fall back and the only blue just because he's so powerful is blue nomad he, he's powerful against everyone so he made it he made it in the top attackers now I, I, I put down the green demon killer as a support because he is probably the best starter the best leader out of all of them to use against Saya because he gives the attack bonus to everyone in, in the team not just the reds or not just the greens um, and now I won't go over every single one of the support just know that these are all healers and they're all um, they're all just there to help keep your big attackers alive and the reason why I'm, I'm showing you all of these is because people always have questions is this good is this good should I use this should I use this if you see in you now you have to make some judgment calls so if you join and there's two good red attackers then you then you know it's on you to start putting in the support heroes and if you, any of the support heroes you see that was the, the jello you probably hadn't seen him a lot but he is an, an incredible healer and then red guitarist the best of all the guitarists another great healer um in the green <laughs> here's the green catfish the craziest sounding hero that we that we have if you ever if you play with the sound which i rarely do but uh he, he's Sounds crazy, but he puts up a shield after every single uh, attack. Now, I'm going to briefly go over level 1. Level 1s, you can attack with uh, maxed 4-star, and then uh, any of your 5-star. Don't use your 6-star on level 1 size. Uh, just save those for the level 2. And same principle, try to avoid using blue heroes. Now, if you have a max blue hero, you can use her against the level 1 size, because she doesn't do quite as much damage. But try to keep with the six stars and the opposite color, which is red and greens, when you use them against the level two. And if you use this formula, the keep it simple, where you have two red big attackers and then three support, you will knock her out in one shot a lot. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I get a lot of questions on this, so hopefully someone uh, this helps somebody out there. Uh, Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.